Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to your daily dose of zombies news from the game and community here on COD Zombies HQ. Thank you so much for tuning in today. We've got an awesome show for you guys today. Surprisingly, a lot of news was released today for a Wednesday, so let's get right into our first story. Call of Duty's Days of Summer event that was announced yesterday just got a whole lot more interesting for Black Ops 3. Of course, yesterday we got this little blurb basically telling us that we're going to be getting double XP and some kind of new pap camo on July 11th until August the 1st, but today a schedule went up for Days of the Undead over on the Call of Duty website. It includes a really descriptive calendar of events in Infinite Warfare and Modern Warfare Remastered for Days of Summer, but scrolling down to the very bottom, we get to the Black Ops 3 section, which is currently totally blanked out. It says, check back on June the 30th for the events running in Black Ops 3 from June 27th to July the 3rd, so only the latter half of that week will be represented. And for the two weeks following that, we're directed to check back on July the 4th and July the 11th in order to see what events are running that week in Black Ops 3. Now, I'm not really sure what to make of this, guys. I, I don't want to overhype something that we obviously don't know about yet, but the fact that they all already announced double XP and this limited pack-a-punch camo arriving on July the 11th to August the 1st means what could they do before that in the two weeks previous? I know a lot of you guys have been asking about the M1911 and AK-74U. I actually did a whole video talking about when it's likely those would be added. So if you haven't seen that video, definitely go ahead and watch it. It'll be linked using the eye icon and down in the description. But linking back to the Days of Summer schedule, June the 30th, the first day that we're going to be seeing the schedule for Black Ops 3, is the day that we predicted is the most likely for the M1911 and AK-74U to be added into Black Ops 3. Of course, that's no definite thing, but if history repeats itself, if Treyarch's on the same time schedule as they were before, that's the most likely date for the update to drop. And of course, you can watch the full video in the description if you want to see why. Now, moving on to our second story of the day. It has to do with Sledgehammer Zombies. Michael Condry, one of the studio heads, tweeting out, Info on zombies coming soon, but not in the August beta. So, zombies will not be featuring in that beta. As we suspected, it's only going to be multiplayer. But Sledgehammer did tweet out, You've got questions, we want to answer them. Join us for our Reddit AMA on Friday, June the 30th, that's this Friday at 10 a.m. Pacific time, where of course Redditors can ask them questions, they say that they'll answer them, we have no confirmation that zombies will be addressed in their little video package they put kind of promoting this event. They basically were talking about only multiplayer things. So we'll have to see if they'll actually address zombies in this ask me anything, if they'll live up to that term or not. But we'll have to see. I'm really excited for this Friday. Now moving on to the third story of the day, a big zombies YouTuber named MC Sports Hawk announced the Zombies World Championship. It's basically being advertised as a huge huge zombies tournament with a $20,000 prize pool. There'll be a preliminary stage where contestants are asked to submit their gameplay of four different challenges. That's Easter egg speed runs on Revelations, Gorod Krovi, a first room challenge on Origins, and a no jug, no gobble gum challenge on Varukt. The people that are first in their category, meaning that they got to the highest round, apparently will be flown out to Los Angeles to compete in what they're calling the main event where they'll team up with a bunch of Zombies YouTubers in order to compete in this main event challenge in order to win the prize money. Pre-registration is online right now and it comes with a buy-in fee of $15 if you want to participate. It's definitely really cool, nothing of this size and scale has been attempted before. Apparently it's also backed by Activision and Treyarch as sponsors as well. It seems what they're trying to do here, the main event might be pretty hard to pull off well, but I'm rooting for these guys, I'm hoping that everything goes well for them. You can find the link to the Zombies World Championships website down in the description. And rounding off the news today for the few of you that still care about Infinite Warfare Zombies, Infinity War tweeted out, we know that you're eager to hear more details about DLC 3. Stay tuned tomorrow for more info. Hashtag Infinite Warfare, IW Zombies. We expect it's either going to be some kind of information release or the teaser trailer. Well, that wraps up the news today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to smash that thumbs up button down below. Subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. And hey, it would be freaking awesome if you can drop me a follow on Twitter. Link is down in the description. I love interacting with you guys on that platform as well. 
Anyways, guys, that wraps up the news today, and I'll see you with another Zombies news video tomorrow. <laughs>